Hey guys, just want to show you a quick product update. Uh, something that we've done when you're dealing with scanning serial numbers or SSCC labels on outgoing. So what I've got in here is I've got a couple of different sale orders configured. One of them is for a company called Whole Foods and the other one is for Sony. Now in the Whole Foods case, what I've assumed is that we've got a product which is one kilogram of flour Oh, sorry, I just clicked on the wrong order. Go back, click on to Whole Foods. We've got a product which is basically one kilogram of flour. On each pallet, we've got 128. Now, the way that I've configured it, this is that when you're actually shipping out, you want to record the existing SSCC number that's on it to scan it in. Now, previously, you couldn't do that. The system would actually, it would only apply that serial number that you scanned to one of the units on the pallet. And the reason for that is we'd set up the system originally to handle outgoing scanning for serial number scanning, which is perfect if you're doing things like shipping TVs. So I'm just going to quickly show you how these two different options work and where you can configure them. So in the Whole Foods case, they come in to pack the sale order, go into the sale order pack screen, click, yep, I want to scan data. Enter in my first SSCC number, done, close that, and when the screen reloads, it's applied that outgoing label to the whole palette, and I can do that for the rest of them as well as I, if I want to. Now, if I go to the case with the Sony order instead, where I've got the TVs, so I go back to my sales orders, into Sony, in here, I've got basically five units of this product called the Bravia 65 inch. So if I go in and pack the sale order here, because I'm doing serial number scanning, I don't want the same serial number to apply to all five. I want it to apply to one of those five. So when I scan the data now, and I enter in my serial number, so I might put in my first serial number, my second serial number, my third serial number, my fourth serial number, and my fifth serial number, close the box, now when this comes up, it's actually gone and recorded a single serial number against each of those products. The way in which you can configure this is a new option that we've added in. So when you go into your customer settings, you go down to edit, you go to the warehouse management tab, under this purchase order products tab where you configure things like batch number, we've got this new option here which says split to lowest unit of measure. So this used to always happen by default, but now we've made it optional. So if you're doing something like serial number scanning, you always want to split this down to the lowest unit of measure when you're applying that serial number. If I instead go into Whole Foods and have a look at their settings, you'll see that that setting is actually disabled because when I'm scanning out a pallet, I don't want to fragment it. I just want to apply that SSCC label to the whole pallet. So you can see this and all the other updates in the Release 74 notes. Thanks.